but we have a, uh, an engineering um, design course in our first year that all students are required to take that exposes them to aspects of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer engineering, and this allows the students to really um, experiment, um, understand what the different engineering uh, disciplines are before they have to really declare uh, what their major is. And um, there's, a, there's actually a competition in that, um, in that class in the first year, so the students get very hands-on experience with their designing, usually some sort of robotic system. And one of the things that drew me to Grand Valley was the fact that it's very hands-on. So like when you're in those lower level classes, your very first day in your first lab, you're in a machine shop. Which helps them understand and identify what different types of engineering disciplines there are. This allows them to more effectively um, decide on what type of major they may want to pursue and make a better decision early on, but also allows them to have the, the tools um, in their arsenal, so to speak, um, when they go out into the engineering field to have some of the background um, in different engineering disciplines beyond just their, their focus and their major. With your junior and senior year, you get, you're required to do a co-op internship and you know, Grand Valley helps place you in those, so it's not just on your own, but that extra three semesters of just hands-on in the real workplace is amazing because we're getting things that you know you can't just learn in a class and you're going to have to learn in industry. Um, we begin that with a co-op prep course which all students are required to take which really helps us to uh, give students the skills and knowledge um, they need to be successful in reaching out to potential employers for their, their co-op positions. By the time the student is, is finishing their co-op experience many of our employers tell us that they're operating within their organization as a, a new degree um, entry-level engineer would. One of our projects was, we're going to reprogram the Grand Haven Musical Department. Like, you can't just do that at any university, but Grand Valley gives you opportunities for projects like that, and you just kind of want to keep going because it's, they make it fun. It's like, you know, the hardest fun you'll ever have, but it's great. You know, what is it that they're, that they're doing in the classroom, and why does this really matter? Well, when they're able to apply that in the workplace, it all makes a lot more sense to them. And from that point forward, we see students, um, in, in many cases, um, really actually um, improve in their academics in their last two years because they now see, oh, this is why that matters, or this is why we're learning that concept. The core experience seeks to support students along three principal dimensions, academic development, professional development, and personal development. Every student's needs are different. Some students are going to need more tutoring. Some students are going to need an extra visit to the advisor. Some students are going to need to be able to interact with an employer on, a, on an informal basis when they're, when they're not interviewing. Some students are just going to need somebody to watch the Super Bowl with. So we need to make sure that students persist through that difficult transition year, whether it's transition personally, whether it's transition academically, uh, whether it's trying to identify new opportunities on campus so that they can broaden their education. So we have support resources in the core experience at MSU to allow students uh, who need that support to find it very easily. Uh, our students are both our clients and they are our product. And so we have to work hand in hand with them. Opportunities for students to get engaged with faculty and staff, with each other, um, in their courses, through their academic process. And we match that with relationships. We talk to our students uh, as early as the seventh and eighth grade, and we do that through outreach activities and programs that we offer through um, the, the DPO and the College of Engineering at MSU. Um, we have them come to campus. Uh, we talk to their parents and families about what it takes to be successful in engineering here. One of the first programs that really got to help me build those connections was a summer bridge program offered through the Diversity Programs Office called ESSA, um, Engineering Summer Science Academy. And it was a six week long program. It was about 25 of us that summer. And we just clicked and we just, we all became best friends. So coming into school in the fall that first semester, I already had 25 friends who were all engineering. So I always had somebody to connect with. We were getting together every day. We were all working on the same stuff. We were working on algebra, we were working on chemistry. We were doing intro to engineering, all the same classes. And that, those bonds, I think, are really what, what helped save me coming into college to be able to connect, to help me stay with the engineering. Because, to be honest, I don't know if I would have been able to keep it up. Most universities don't do hands-on projects like this hovercraft project, 
until junior or even senior year. You have your math, your algebras, and your geometries, but you really don't think I'm going to go build some self-driving floating vehicle just a few months out of high school. The Clark School also supports students who have ideas for new ventures. Our student-run startup shell offers mentorship, a device lab, workspace, and other resources to help students get their startup to the next level. The University of Maryland is located just a few miles from the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, where many students serve as interns and many Clark School graduates have gone on to become NASA engineers. First of all, having an internship in general is great in your freshman year just because it gives you early experience and exposure to the field. You get your name out there and a lot of employment opportunities from there. And then working at NASA specifically, I get to not only experience some of the new cutting edge technology and see some really exciting stuff that we're going into in the future, but also NASA and especially Goddard is one of the greatest work environments in the country. Nearly a quarter of the summer research fellows selected nationwide by the National Institute for Standards and Technology were University of Maryland students, with most of them coming from the Clark School. Both of those kinds of programs help students create a, a community atmosphere, um, helps us connect students with the broader Purdue family of faculty and staff and alums. I think it helped out, one, because I was an upperclassman and I could help the freshmen coming in with their freshman year jitters of being an engineer. And also, looking up to the seniors that they made it, they're able to give me their experiences. Those programs also um, help students create a, a place and a space to come together around mutual interests and to combat some of the isolation that they could tend to feel. It also creates a continuity where students can participate as mentees, as first year students working with an upper class mentor. They are a mentee in their second year as well, but as juniors and seniors, they can flip and now they're the mentors. Being able to see the seniors and have my own mentor and be able to go to them and talk to them was really helpful for me to be able to build confidence and build strength in the classroom and also outside of the classroom in interviews and different resume building opportunities. We invite a speaker to come talk and it can range on any topic. It can be about resume building or etiquette. Um, and then basically we give the participants and everyone gets a chance to network and talk with each other and then eat dinner together. That's also a major part. So the academic boot camp bridges the student's experience in high school and in many cases the shock of their first experience to coming to Purdue. You get to see what your classes are like, so I was excited. And then students were like, <laughs> I was like, what's wrong? They were like, you don't know. It simulates the first semester of engineering. And so the students get a very realistic view of what their first year of college is going to be like, so they're prepared. But they're doing it in a safe place. They gave me a calc textbook, the chemistry book, everything. Heavy, huge, five, 10 pound books. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is real. They said we had 30 minutes to unpack and get ready, then we had to be back downstairs. They had to take before photos. I was like, before photos? But the first day of calculus, they passed out the syllabus, and I looked at it and I was like, this is the boot camp syllabus. And I was looking at the homework, I was like, I've done all of this. At first, I thought it was a really negative thing. I was like, this was just hard. They worked, overworked us. It wasn't fair. But by the like, first week of school, I was like, thank God for boot camp. Like, MATLAB, everyone's struggling to figure it out. I said, I can code GUI structures. What are you talking about? It was so much easier. My particular boot camp class, we do everything together. <laughs> like, literally everything together. We study together. We work together. We go eat together. Like, we have like a little group chat where we decide like what we want to do today, where we're going to go. Like, just now we decide what we're doing tonight. Like, we do everything together. And really that support helped me get through first semester. It's very much a, a life cycle kind of a, a concept in that, you know, you have students who are coming through and we reach out to students as young as kindergarten. Um, all the way through to high school, into their undergraduate years, to their graduate years if they tend to be here. 
and then the integration of the alumni into those programs really shows the the broad expanse of the kinds of things that we do to ensure that we are meeting the needs of students who tend to be up underrepresented in the College of Engineering. Us as RAs and you know, being part of the OLC, it's, it's our task to kind of guide and, and retain engineering uh, majors. And so the way we do that is through events, we do that through actual promoting what we have as an ELC, so the peer tutors, peer mentors. What better place to live there if you're surrounded by engineering majors, you're going to be like taking the same classes, learning some of the same material. Hopefully they're going to be just as confused as I am. There was always someone to help with classes. We were all in the same basic courses and Anytime I needed help, I would just walk down the hall and knock on my friend's door and be like, hey, do you, do you get this problem? We have peer tutors that help residents out in the basement. We have a, we have a room set up for them. They can come in uh, at any time. This is specifically for ELC. I mean, sometimes you're just sitting outside of your door working, like, working on your homework problems. Somebody will walk by like, hey, are you working on that homework? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with mine. We can start on it. We can help each other out and stuff like that. You naturally form study groups. And uh, those groups, you know, you want to be distracted as you might be in another dorm or something of that sort because whenever someone has a test coming up, all your neighbors and everybody else there has a test coming up. And it really makes a difference when everyone is like, hey, what are we going to go do? It's like, hey, well, we have that homework due. Let's go in the study carol and knock it out. We had the ELC bridge building barbecue. And so we had the barbecue, and then we also had the bridge building, and so we had industry mentors come out there and, and help out. You'll have a faculty member come in and like do an event with you outside of the classroom, like let's go to the ELC like backyard, is what we call it, and uh, barbecue or something, and you really just get to chill out, get to know them, and if you have any questions like about their life, about industry, you can talk to them. You're surrounded by people who know what you're going through, and. Freshman year, engineering is a shock, regardless of how prepared you think you are, and really, it helps so much. We have been able to uh, achieve very high retention, um, almost 96%, uh, compared to uh, roughly 64% uh, college-wide. Our internship program um, is placing somewhere between 100 and 150 students every year. We have strong partnership with the industries in the region. We have career fairs over here. We have an industry specialist in the career center that works with our students to place them um, on internships as well as on full-time jobs. I was able to gain two internships, all because of the career fairs that they that they hold um, on campus and because of the networking I was able to do. This year we did a uh, inspection system for Dis Disneyland and who gets to say that they get to work for Disneyland. Um, so we worked with Disneyland and, and collaborated to build a inspection system to look at the welds under Indiana Jones. I mean Indiana Jones. <laughs> Join a club. Uh, the clubs are amazing especially here the community that we have as far as uh, students, engineering, and among the clubs, it's so supportive. I've been involved in Society of Women Engineers. Um, we've, do, we've done the pumpkin launch competition. We've done the STEM program, which was just started last year. And um, we've done Kaboom, which is a build a park event along with the YMCA. We started from scratch and we built from the ground up. We assembled all the equipment and we got to cut uh, wood and assemble the entire park from the ground up. They set up a lot of programs for women and they really want to help you and they want you to succeed. They set up tutoring programs, the University 100 program, and they offer a lot of clubs that you can join. That year we placed third, second place, I'm sorry, second place and it really pushed me to be more involved into Society of Women Engineers because you get that experience of getting your feet wet into engineering. It was a great way to see all the younger members get involved. I'm a first generation student in my family, so I had no one to talk to about college, and then being in a major where there weren't a lot of girls, and I would walk into a classroom and all the guys would stare me down, 
I'd be really afraid to be myself, to go out there, to say things because I thought that they were all judging me for who I was and what I looked like. If you put yourself out there and you just forget about the worries of the world and say, I'm here because I deserve to be. I got into this university just like everyone else here. So you just have to remember in the back of your mind that you deserve to be here and you just have to go out and make it the best that you possibly can. Go the distance.